This video is the top five ERP software. This can run your entire company from one software platform. Now I've spent lots of money, lots of time going over what was best for my companies and seeing how I can use this and share this information with you guys right here, right now. Now the sole property of large enterprises and the cloud now lets that mid-sized business actually really take advantage of the ERP's benefits. So this is this top five that I'm sure you're going to love. If you look in the description below, you're gonna find some freebies and discounts and try them out for yourself and put it to the test. Now I saved you this time doing so, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it the well. So let's start. So here for number one, I must say Oracle NetSuite. Now it is, one word that is written for cloud, and it really focuses on the ease of modularity. Now, it is a solid financial platform that can actually easily be expanded to meet other needs for your business as well. And just by buying additional functionality through the cloud really allows you to really stand that out. Now, some of the things that I truly did love with Oracle was that solid customer relationship management features was very great. It had broad enterprise resource planning features uh, that apply to a wide variety of businesses as well. Uh, it had excellent drill down capabilities from several different system views as well. Um, the reporting was also very simple, which I love. They had a custom process workflows, which I love to be able to process anything in a custom way. Now the navigatable hierarchical dashboard was very easy so this was something that i found to be very important but some of the things that i didn't like was that it can have confusing help systems and it was difficult for me to really configure the system for my specific roles and the it was very broad but it can be very complex and which can really be hard for beginners but all in all it was perfect and leading at spot number one Okay, so for number two, I have Acumaticas. Now, Acumatica has a very intuitive design, which I really, really did enjoy. The enterprise was very scalable and flexible pricing model actually helped made this an excellent choice for enterprise resource planning. But in all, the general ledger accounting and inventory management was also superb, which I really, really did love. Some of the cool pros, uh, pros for this was that it had on-premises and or cloud deployment, which was really neat for me as well. Uh, it, had a amount, it had a robust amount of costing methods and works on many databases. Now, there was solid reporting. The non-user-based pricing accommodated the grow, my growing company as well, and the browser-based app really made it easy for my mobile devices as well. Uh, and the navigation was actually very easy because no one likes to have to really try to find and struggle to catch different things on the site. Some of the things that the cons really did stand out was that the, the estimating license cost could be very, well, pricey and it can be difficult. So trying to estimate everything, what is everything going to cost? And that's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, it had a standard report fillers, filters that actually need to be customized. Uh, another thing was that the reliance on third-party add-ons was needed if you're trying to implement ERP for companies outside of the manufacturing or distribution vertical. So if that's your kind of company, you may not like this. Uh, and the unusual, the unusual pricing structure, which kind of threw me off as well, which made it kind of difficult. All right, so number three, SysPro. SysPro was actually a very strong contender for enterprise, well, resource planning, but it needed, in, and it needs of small, mid-size, and large businesses. So if you have a smaller, mid-size, large business, SysPro is probably gonna be really good for you. Now, the system was very flexible, and it was very comprehensive, and it was easy for me to use. Now, it offered a lot of plethora of reports and easily scaling from one to several hundred users. So that was one of the big things that I liked about this as well. Now, the pros of this was that it has excellent capabilities for production, 
distribution, your warehousing needs, and the retail of businesses. So if you have these, this is also great. Now it uses SysPros' own point of sale, demand and forecasting engines, which is a big help. Now it was very comprehensive, uh, but very easy to use, which is very big. Uh, and it had an extensive number of available modules as well. Two things that I didn't like about this, the cons, that there was no payroll or human resource modules. So that was rather difficult. And it may appear overwhelming for the smaller businesses as well. So if you're just getting starting out in this way, it can just look this way and kind of scare you. But other than that, it was fantastic. So number four, I have AccountMate. Uh, I really did enjoy AccountMate as well, but it's a solid entry to small to mid-sized businesses uh, in financials and inventory management and enterprise resource planning. <clears throat> now, though it's missing some sophisticated features that other products have, it's still well, very usable and configurable. So anything that's configurable, honestly, is really going to be the best bet. And, well, let's just say that the pros were really great as well because it had many report export options. It had a great transaction drill down and extensive online training and help functionality. So even if it can be a little bit too hard, at least they give you some, well, they give you some help. So that was very great. Uh, and it had a solid audit trail report capability. So the fact that this was pretty solid is enough to it because some, let's be honest, sometimes the audit trail report can be a little shady. Now, cons, there's no HR or POS modules for ERP implementation. So if this is where you're looking for, perhaps something different would be better. Now, there were limited graphics and charting, which I find that I needed more graphics and charting for my businesses. So it's really up to you if that's something that you're going to need or if it's important or not. Task shortcuts actually need to be configured, which took more time for me to actually get that going. And there's no true dashboards, which I really kind of count on my dashboards to kind of easily navigate and follow through. And this didn't have it, so that's where it landed on top number four. Now, there's no process flowchart navigation either, and I found this quite annoying. And again, also one more point, putting it at number four spot. But still, overall, account mate did do its job pretty well. Okay, last, but most definitely not least, we have Denali, and it's by Cougar Mountain. Now, Cougar Mountain Denali Summit is actually aimed at squarely at mid-sized businesses, and it sports a very wide variety of expansion modules. Now, its design was lackluster in places, but for most businesses, it provides a serviceable financial platform. And it's, so it's pretty good, if I can say, also leading into the number five. But the pros of this was it did have easy navigation, which is a big plus for me. Two of the three bundles actually included crystal reports and available as a single purchase or monthly payments. It could be purchased directly or through a reseller channel and the fun accounting edition is available as well. Now, three things that I found that were not comfortable, something that I just did not like, was that really the crystal reports cost $495 extra even for the most basic bundle. Now, report filters and data entry screens are not particularly intuitive, so it didn't really help me too much. And there's not much charting or graphics capability within most modules, which I found was, again, needing for my businesses that it was very hard for me to kind of get a grip and actually physically see. So it depends on if you are a visual person or if you're a numbers person. So not having too many charts or graphics actually can hurt you. This is my list of top five. This is where I went and I tried for my businesses and my experience. And I've been doing this for a very, very long time. And we compiled this for you. Now go to our link in the descriptions, try them for free, get your discounts on them and you be the judge and then tell me what you think. Thank you for joining. I will see you guys next time.